Hi again, everybody. This is Jim here with Educator.com Lessons on WordPress. And today we're going to talk about creating a theme. And with that, I just want to point out that this is kind of a, a special kind of lesson in that it's really geared towards PHP programmers. So for those of you who are not interested in PHP, uh, you know, you can go ahead and skip this lesson if you like. I even though if you're not interested, I still think it's kind of important for you to understand the structure of WordPress, but you know, the choice is yours. So I'm kind of giving you a break over here. If you want to listen through this course, you can. Otherwise, you can skip on to the next lesson. But uh, for those of you who are PHP programmers, this is going to be a pretty important uh, lesson to uh, understand because I'm going to talk about the structure of WordPress and how the inventors of WordPress were able to uh, uh, come up with this beautiful software. We're going to basically talking about uh, how to create a theme, uh, uh, create a theme for yourself or borrow from others. And of course, uh, you know we want to learn about the files, how to create them, and what it involves, and then generating uh, generating WordPress themes. I mean, generating meaning that uh, you're basically using a website or an outside source to create the themes yourself or basically uh, there are services out there that allow you to create the themes and then you can download the files and then upload it into uh, into WordPress. So we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit more about this. So how to create a theme. First and foremost, as I mentioned before, you need to have a solid understand of PHP and MySQL. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is whenever you create a hosting. Now, now, oh, by the way, I'm assuming that this is for hosted PHP programmers. So, hosted, I'm sorry, WordPress uh, sites. So, if you're using uh, WordPress.com, there's nothing much I, you can't really program because obviously they're not going to allow you to. Uh, but or maybe they will. Who knows? Uh, for your specific folder, they may allow you to. But you're you've got a lot more flexibility if you host your own WordPress site with your own under your own domain name, which is pretty much what I I kind of recommend because you want to have control over your site. You want to be able to do what you will. After all, WordPress is uh, pretty much a uh, what is known as open source. Okay, so. You can basically do what you want. You can add code to it. You can remove code to it. You can edit it. So an open source, I guess you can equate that sort of like an open room. Uh, you can add couches, furniture, uh, carpets, paintings, whatever you want. It's an open kind of room where you can add your own little stuff to it. Uh, but of course, you need to understand PHP and MySQL. So the first thing you got to do is you've got to install the MySQL database. So go to your web host, uh, go ahead and install the, S the MySQL database, then go ahead and uh, install WordPress, and then we'll play around with a PHP. So again, this is for mostly hosted websites. And we're, in this lesson, we're going to cover the surface of the programming. I'm not going to show you how to program because we just simply don't have enough time. I mean, that's a whole semester or two worth of work there. Uh, Educator does offer a PHP class. I recommend you take it and uh, see if you can apply into WordPress. Uh, WordPress, from what I'm seeing here, is not that difficult to understand. But like I said, it's, it's pretty complicated if you're not familiar with PHP. Uh, but uh, then again, this is a great place to uh, have that control and uh, have that understanding and that appreciation. PHP is a very popular programming language. Definitely, if you're a developer or if you're an upcoming developer, you and if you learn PHP, you're going to have uh, a high marketability because there's a lot of people out there who are needing PHP programmers. So, uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and dive right in and start talking about. Uh, the WordPress and the internals. So the first decision you've got to make, you know, as a uh, if you're going to have a, a website or a blog using WordPress, is well, do you want to create one and do you want to borrow one? Well, I know that a lot of the programmers' mentality is, well, of course I'd love to create because we love to have that challenge. We love to be able to 
uh, come up with our own little version of our own little world. But a lot of us, well, you know, we don't want to deal with that. So we rather borrow. And of course, if I were to basically go to a, a web browser right now and I type in WordPress themes, well, I've, look how much, here it is right here. I'll go ahead and increase the size. So here is a Word, if I type in WordPress theme and I press the submit button over here in Google, I'll find literally hundreds of websites that'll have all these themes. So if I were to go to free WordPress themes right here, look at all these, well, well, it's set free, <laughs> but actually some of these are costly. So you can buy them for about 20 bucks, which to me is nominal. I mean, why not? I mean, these are really good looking websites here. Uh, some of them are very creative. So you can go ahead and uh, take a gander over there. Let's take a look at another one before we return to the slides. Here's, uh, hopefully this is free, and this is within WordPress.org. So you can download these 2010. Uh, some of you are maybe familiar with this one, but uh, this is a pretty interesting uh, website here. You can actually see the ratings and uh, download. So if you click into the theme that you're interested, you can actually download it right over here on the upper right where, the, where it says download version. So you can download it and then install it. I've already explained in a previous lesson what that uh, procedure is as far as downloading and then uploading uh, a theme that is. So there are literally thousands of WordPress themes. I mean, people are creating it every day and there's downloads every day. All you got to do is just type in a keyword. But since uh, we're catering more towards the developers, we're going to basically leave it at that. So from here on in, again, this is all about the developers. So let's go ahead and go to the next slide as soon as we activate the slides. There